I want you to understand the relationship, this is macro, between stocks or equities and bonds. So this is cash, this is debt. You see, so if I have a million dollars, I would put it in a bond and hopefully get 16%. That's safe as, you know, if it's a US treasury, it's guaranteed. But to keep the stock market going up, they kept reducing the, so today it's about, I think it's about, I don't like bonds, so you can tell that. So don't take a word, you know, don't listen to the word I say. But what that guy said to me, my, I shifted into bonds because they're safer. I'm going, oh my God. But that's the price of not knowing. And when I tried to explain it to him, he got really angry. He says, are you a financial planner? I said, heavens no, I do have some self-respect, you know. But that's why we have John McGregor, we have Andy Tanner as part of our advisors because those guys are for real. They're in paper assets. And nobody has the answer, Sarah. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're prepared for it. So if we could go into gold, silver, and crypto. Okay, so the question is, why hasn't gold gone up? Who knows where it's gonna go? So I thought gold would be like $2,500 today. And the reason is, is when the, again, it goes to the bond price went up, the price of gold came down. So they're all related and nobody has an answer, but you gotta pay attention to that. And then uh, if you just listen to the, our, our um, Rich Dad Radio Show with John Adams from Go To Gold Australia, the Perth Mint is out of silver. Now, what does that mean? You know, I, how, would, how, could I, how could I mint be out of silver? How could I mint be out of gold? Because they're selling stuff they don't have. So that's corruption. So can I make a prediction? No, but that's why you gotta be very, very careful. So the price of gold didn't go up. One reason is because crypto is, you know, Bitcoin is sucking the air out of gold and silver. And the, you know, the Bitcoin guys are going nuts or happy as Larry. So, Two things are affecting the price of gold. One is interest rates went up and Bitcoin came in, Ethereum and all those other things. And so when when Bitcoin dropped from, I think it was 65 down to 50 per coin, I bought more. Not that I'm not gambling in crypto. I am not gambling in, in gold and silver. I've started gold mines and I've started silver mines. But let me explain this. The reason I'm in Bitcoin is because it's the most established. It already has a network. It's got a head start on everybody. And the difference was, is that in my generation, it was real estate. So I took real estate courses. I've never lost money in real estate. I've made fortunes in it. Do you know? I'm an insider because I do all my, I don't I don't touch REITs, R-E-I-T's, real estate investment. I don't trust paper. I am, I handle my own. I've started my own gold mine in China. Unfortunately, the Chinese took it. That was a lesson. And I started my own silver mine in Argentina. So I understand mining. So all of these guys, my friends who are in crypto, now tell me they expect about 15,000 new ICOs. So this, you know, basically all it takes is a brain and some electricity and a computer and you can create your own crypto. So could Bitcoin be toast also? Possibly, you know? So when I told this guy I bought Bitcoin, when it dropped from 65 to 50, he says it's gonna to go to five, $5. I said, it might. The difference is I, I can afford to lose that money, but that's called, I'm speculating. This is, in my world as a professional investor, I'm in the acquisition phase. I've taken a position. I've taken a position in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Every time it looks like it's getting a little cheaper, I'll buy it, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. So I, I saw Bitcoin at 20,000, I think it was and it dropped to seven and I waited, and when it came to nine, I, I bought. So today, let's say it's 50. I'm still in the money. And if it goes to 40, I'm gonna buy more. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel. This shows the algorithm that you value the information and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now, let's continue. Now, could I be wrong? Absolutely. Could some hodler coin take off? Yeah. Now, could there be another pets.com of crypto? Absolutely. But the difference is I'm in the acquisition. I've taken a position. I took a position in silver and gold. I have millions, not in this country, but I don't have any paper. I don't have any ETFs. I only take the real stuff because as I said, the Perth Mint can't deliver on silver. If a mint can't deliver on silver, who do you trust? And so with all of these young kids coming up going to invent the next Bitcoin, I don't doubt they will. I don't doubt one of those 10,000 new crypto may blow Bitcoin and Ethereum out of the water. And if that happens, I'll make my switch. But until then, I'm like I was with gold and silver. I'm in acquisition, I've taken a position. When I sell, it's called distribution. 
So as a professional eye, not a speculator, and I don't flip houses because I think that's really stupid because it's such high risk to flip a house. But today everybody's flipping houses because the price of real estate is going through the roof. You know, I, I was talking to the guy who cuts my hair. He says, oh, I finally bought a house. You know, and I offered 100,000 over the price. and going, holy moly. There's, it's a mania. There's, you know, there's booms, bust, and mania. Real estate is in a mania because of this, because the interest rates are so low. So not only are stocks going up, real estate's going up and everybody's jumping in. When this happens, the idiots jump in and that's what's happening right now. So Bitcoin is the same way. So when it took a dip, I bought more. Can it go lower? Yes, I'll buy more. But there's one big difference between Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum and real estate. Bitcoin and Ethereum are liquid, means I can get out. If I realize that there's a new NFC, whatever they, what do they call them, or a new guy is gonna take out Bitcoin, I can get out. But with real estate, the trouble with real estate, if it goes down, you're the skipper of the Titanic. You're gonna ride that baby all the way down. So real estate is not liquid. At least stocks are liquid. So when I talk to him about possibly gold, silver, or crypto, no! Oh! So those are, they're all related. So in, in this world of money, they're all related. Do you know, it's like we're all related somehow on this whole planet. And so that's the world of money today. So that's real financial education. If you realize you cannot make a prediction, especially today, because nobody knows what's gonna happen until it happens. The question is, are you prepared for what it happens? So I love Bitcoin because if I realize there's a hot new, hot new coin coming along, I can get out. But in real estate, I'm stuck in it. So those are some of the differences between investors, acquisition, taking a position, and dis distribution. I can distribute my Bitcoin and gold and silver quickly. I cannot distribute my real estate that quickly or my businesses. So those are some of the differences and that's real financial education.